Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead, New Hampshire. I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna do an unboxing um, of the MechMax GC50 wood chipper. Um, a lot of you may have seen this online. It's the, uh, it's the smaller version chipper that MechMax makes. It's got the basket underneath it. Um, it's, it's geared more towards, you know, uh, residential type uh, landscape projects where you need to, uh, you know, maybe chip some smaller diameter um, branches and that kind of stuff. So great for yard cleanup, great for uh, smaller properties or even bigger properties that just want a wood chipper that's maybe easier to easier to handle, maintain, manage, and, and easy to move around the yard without uh, the use of a tractor or, or anything else. So. Uh, let's get into this thing and uh, let's get this thing built. I have no idea what's in that box um, other than me just pulling the top off and grabbing the instruction manuals out of the box. So this one does come with an operator's manual. I will put it in this, this camera view over here. It, uh, it goes through, you know, the specifications. It's, uh, it's got a Rado R210 212cc motor in it. Uh, recoil starting, max chipping capacity, 50 millimeters. Uh, it's a drum cutter, so it has two blades and one anvil. Uh, it's got 10 inch rubber wheels. It's got a collection bag that's 64 liters. Um, and the, the gross weight is 55 kilograms. So um, I'm gonna have to go onto, onto the Google and interweb and figure out what 55 kilograms comes out to in, um, in US style uh, pounds. So anyway, uh, we got some general safety rules here. I'll kind of put this in the other camera view for you. Um, talks about operating zones, feeding the material, unclogging, moving, machine use and care. So uh, these instructions are pretty well detailed. Um, and then we have unpacking the container. So. We do have some good instructions here for um, all of you people that don't like to figure out how to do things uh, without them. So let's get started. Um, oh, we also have a, an engine manual as well. So, oh, what do you got? 121.254 pounds by Kendall. You can look into that one, Kendall, say hi. This is my lovely and beautiful fiance. She has made us iced coffees on this Sunday afternoon. Um, so we're gonna put this together and we're gonna go do some other stuff on the property. So let's get uh, let's get into it. <coughs> God, that, that iced coffee is really good. All right, so this thing came to me via UPS. I believe it shipped out of their Texas location. Let's see here. Actually, no, it came <gasps> out of, uh, looks like Bolingbrook, Illinois. So you will notice that I'm using the MechMax wheelbarrow. I put a piece of zip sheet on top. This makes a great tabletop for doing assembly videos or, you know, I used it in the, in the sawmill assembly video as well. So, so unpacking everything here we've got, let's see. It's like we have some rubberized pads. Got some tools here. And it looks like we have some plastic clips. Must be for wiring, I'm guessing. I mean, all in all, everything's bubble wrapped in here really well. I don't know if you can see it out of this camera, but um, I did take a picture, so. Got some silica gel, you like these. That's a nice hefty one for the camera bag. I'm good. You want to collect trash like we do on Christmas, that'd be great. This looks like the shoot. <laughs> Every week, yeah, exactly. Here, let's save that plastic bag though. Got a, got a wheel here. What happens when you're done putting it all together and you have extra parts? Uh, I put them in a bag and save them. You never know if you might need parts afterwards. No, it doesn't. They, uh, a lot of times these manufacturers will put, um, they will put extra parts in here because sometimes they get lost in shipping or whatnot. This looks like the, looks like the container that the chips go into. We'll just slide that right in there. 
This looks like an axle. And we've got the motor and everything in here as well. So how am I doing this? Actually, let's revert to the instructions. What do the instructions say? What, instructions? I know. Oh, it says unpack the container. Take the, take the top off. And then at least two people to hold up the package and move it from the top. So it looks like I've got to use a razor knife to slice open the sides here so I can drag it out through the side. Which tells me that we may be assembling this on the ground. Could do that too. out of the way because we're locking the view here. So we got our all assembled, we got the basket in it. I just started it up really quick just to make sure it worked. We put oil in it and fuel. Just note that when you order this machine, it's not gonna come with either of those in it. So you're gonna put 0.6 liters of oil in this machine. Um, and that can go either here where there's a dipstick on the back or it can go in the front. There's two different fills as there are on most, you know, small motors. So the startup procedure for this is really simple. Um, it's like any other small engine. We've actually showed it. It's the same as the sawmill, except this one doesn't have a key start. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna turn the gas on, you're gonna choke it. There's a switch here, an on off switch. You wanna make sure that this basket is fully in here. There's a little screw right here that connects to a magnet and that activates the safety. So if you were to pull that out, or when it gets full, when it's running, it's gonna shut the machine off. So if the machine does turn off, just look down at the basket and see, or you're out of gas, one of the two. So again, gas on, choke on, switch on, and then you can throttle it up. So it starts right up, and it's like any other Mech Max motor, it, you know, one pull, it starts. So. Um, you can't, there's, let me pull this camera over here. You'll notice inside of here that there's two holes. So that's going to be your maximum diameter. It's going to be the max that you can put in there. So I'm going to set this up right here and uh, I'll put one in there. You guys can see, you can see what it, what it looks like and what it takes. We'll start with something small, and then we'll, we'll graduate to a little bigger one. What do you think? All right, there's the first one, not real big. So you gotta make sure that you don't have limbs on them and stuff when you put them in, I guess.
That works pretty well. That was a smaller one. Let's see what she does a little bigger one. That's about the max is this. And that's probably, I don't know, two inch. So keep going here. Find some other stuff to stick through it. It's not a self feeder either, so I mean, it, I mean, it is in a way, but there's no, there's no way to like stop it. So, I mean, we can try something like this and see if it'll take this all the way through it. I don't know. Yeah, okay, it worked pretty well. There's a stopper in there so you can't get your hand jam again. That works pretty well though, surprise. Let's see. Let's see what it'll take this. It looks like it'll fit, but it's not going to work with the uh, having this right here. So let's do it this way. Nope. A little too big. Let's try it again and see if we go slower. If it'll do it. It wants to. That's a little too big. You can see it. I mean, it's, let's break this one off. Oh, and this one's really green too. So, part of the problem. Yeah, it doesn't like, I don't think it likes green stuff. What else we got over here? Let's try this little green one here. Let's see if it'll take this thing through there. What else can we put in this thing? Try a root. Yeah. So it likes really dry stuff. It doesn't seem to like green stuff too well, but I mean, what doesn't? Um, it did take that stuff pretty good though. So um, I would say my max diameter, about two inches, inch and a half, two inches, depending if it's really green, you're gonna be on the smaller end, but you know, really dry stuff, like some of these pine sticks that I just put through there, it rips them right through. Um, it is a little, um, when you put one in there, you're waiting for it, you're waiting for it. And when it grabs hold, just beware. Um, I wasn't wearing gloves, but I'd probably recommend that. Um, but I would definitely recommend ear protection. So um, I am a person, I'm a Navy veteran with hearing issues from the service. So 
I like to protect what I have, so I, uh, I'm always wearing ear protection. These are, uh, these are made by Asatunes, so um, they're noise canceling and they have Bluetooth in them as well. Um, they work really well. When I'm doing sawing stuff, I have the, the actual steel ear protection on and some, uh, some ear, earbuds inside the ear. So anyway, that's that. Um, not much else to say about this other than, you know, it, it, it's a great little unit for just doing some routine yard cleanup, uh, pruning, trimming, that kind of stuff. This is a great machine for that. Um, I definitely recommend it. That's about it. So I'll, uh, I'll drop a referral link in the, in the description of this video. Um, stay tuned to our channel for more videos coming soon. Our goal is one or two a week right now. And, um, you know, hit that like and subscribe. Um, and leave a comment as well. We'd, we'd love to know, you know, if you have any ideas for content that you'd like to see on our channel. So, uh, you know, drop that comment down below and, uh, you know, we'll answer them as soon as we can. And we'll try to produce more content that you guys actually want to see. So for now, that's about it. Thanks for watching Homestead, New Hampshire, and I will see you guys soon. Have a great day.